and welcome to today's go market update with 11 oh. and welcome to your go market update for today the 11th of may 2022 with mike smith senior analyst for go markets hope you're all well today let's have a look at what's coming across the news of course overnight we had a choppy session in the us ending in a mixed session the dow was negative the nasdaq finished slightly positive as did the s p 500 Really, the markets are positioning themselves for this inflation data that's out later today, of course, which we've been gearing up for all week. Uh, US futures are mildly positive in early trading, with the Nasdaq slightly outperforming. Asian indices are weaker as markets await today's data, not just out of the US, but also out of China and Germany as well. ASX is down about 0.3% as we record this high in the session lows. The defensive sectors we note are outperforming, so healthcare and staples and real estate all doing pretty well compared to the rest of the market. European futures are pointing to a flat open and would suggest that possibly with a choppy day ahead as we wait for some clarity from that data. If we look at the US dollar index, it is trading around neutral, still at that resistance level that we've been testing for the last few days, edging slightly higher this morning. Gold's dropped again through that support at 1850, currently trading around 1830. And one wonders whether we might see that go all the way down to 1800. Also in the commodity space, we're seeing further weakness in oil and copper, both dropping further on demand concerns after really what's been a pretty weak few days in commodities. And we're seeing the VIX remain above 30. Cryptos have been one of the stories of the week. We've still got dramatically bearish sentiment. Bitcoin is at nine month lows, testing the critical 30,000 level. Managed just about to hold on to it yesterday, then had a little bit of a rally and then sold off again. So really there appears to be no buying pressure into cryptos at the moment. And of course, today's inflation day, we've got numbers out of China and Germany. And of course, the critical number out of the US later, that's gonna dictate sentiment. Let's have a look at a couple of charts. We'll start with the Aussie yen. You can see there, we're just about holding on to support. At around about 196, at around about 9060. You can see we tested that during the day yesterday, but managed to recover. Likewise, today in Asia, you can see we actually opened below that level, but have managed to claw our way back um, pretty close to it. So there's a couple of opportunities potentially here if we get some buying coming back into AUD. There's this level that we've talked about there. Uh, there's that potential move up around about 100 pips. We suggest possibly that a 50 pip move up to test 91 is probably a clearer opportunity for right now and then reassess to see if it's going to pop up that extra 60 pips. There isn't much we are liking on the ASX at the moment simply because of the volatility and the impending big data. But Westpac caught our eye this week and you can see a nice little bump after a report that came out and of course... Now, 2450 looks under a little pressure. It has held up there relatively well compared to some of the other banks. So although it's down a little bit, we are keeping an eye on this over the next few days and want to keep an eye on perhaps. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.